May peace and blessings be upon you, my friends. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Giraffe. Assalamu alaikum, reading buddies. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Giraffe. I'm very happy to be here with you today. First, we have a special salam going out to Aisha, Omar, and Hassan Mohsen from Orange County, California. Assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, Ramadan is starting soon. Are you guys ready for it yet? There is so much to do in order to prepare for Ramadan. It's so much fun, isn't it? Some of my friends don't understand why Ramadan is important or what is so special about Ramadan. That's what we're going to talk about today. I have just a book to prepare us for that. So today, inshallah, we are going to read the story. Tell me more about Ramadan. It's a really nice book. If you have a copy of it, go grab it so you can read along with me. Bismillah. Tell me more about Ramadan by Bashar Karoom and illustrated by Tanya Varsalaya. In the middle of the night, Layla hears a sound coming from the kitchen. Rubbing her eyes, she gets out of bed and goes downstairs to see what is happening. Layla finds her family seated at the dining table, having a meal. A meal at this time? Layla wonders. The sun is up, and so is Layla. Mom, I'm hungry, yells Layla. Breakfast is on the table, mom replies. Layla runs downstairs, sits at the table, and waits for her family. Nobody's having breakfast? Layla is surprised. In the evening, Layla is pleased to see the whole family at home. Her grandparents, aunt, uncle, and cousins, almost everyone is there. Layla is very happy. She loves being surrounded by family. But what could be the occasion? Layla asks herself. As the sun goes down, the kitchen gets crowded. Everyone is giving a hand, preparing the meal and setting the table. Collaboration and family spirit are at their most. Layla would love this great atmosphere every day. The table is ready and everyone is seated. However, no one is eating. The whole family is waiting. Suddenly, Layla hears the Aden being called out from the masjid nearby. After breaking the fast and saying the iftar's dua, everyone begins to eat in silence. Layla observes everything without making a sound. When the meal is over, some go to the masjid to pray and others pray at home. The atmosphere is peaceful and comforting. Layla is very happy, yet she really wants to know what the occasion is. Later that night, Layla goes to see her father. Dad, is today a special day? Layla questions. Oh, Layla! It's the first day of the holy month of Ramadan. I'm sorry we didn't tell you. Now, since you're a big girl, let me tell you more, says Dad. During this month, we don't eat or drink from dawn to sunset, Dad explains. Layla remembers what she saw earlier that day. So that's why I saw you have a meal in the middle of the night, shouts Layla. Yes, that's right. It's the suhoor, the meal before dawn. Clever girl. But you know, Layla, Ramadan is not just about staying away from food and drink. It's a month of mercy where the doors of paradise are open, so we increase prayers, salat, and the recitation of the Qur'an. Do you know the Qur'an was sent down during Ramadan? Dad asks Layla. That's interesting. I didn't know that, Dad, says Layla. Dad, tell me more about Ramadan, requests Layla. Ramadan is also a month for good deeds, a month that reminds and teaches us to be forgiving, loving, caring, and generous. I understand. So, 
we are trained to be good during Ramadan so that we can continue to be good every day, Layla adds. That's right, Layla. Dad agrees and continues. During this month, we give charity as well. We help the needy and provide them with good food and many other things that they may need. When you give to those in need, you'll be rewarded by Allah. Dad, can I give some of my toys to the children in need? asks Layla. That's a great idea, Layla. I am very proud of you, says Dad. Dad, I still don't understand. Why do we not eat and drink during Ramadan? When we don't eat and drink, we understand what it is like to be hungry. So, we must always be thankful to Allah for what He has given us. Not waste food and remember those who don't have much to eat. Ramadan is super cool! Dad, can I fast too? Layla asks. Yes, you can try tomorrow. I'll wake you up for the meal before dawn, insha'Allah. Now, you better get to sleep early, Dad advises. Yes, I will. Ramadan Mubarak, Dad, says Layla, very excited. Ramadan Mubarak, sweetheart. The end. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Muslims to fast during Ramadan just like he had commanded other people before Muslims. Many people from other religions fast also, but they don't exactly fast the same way that we do, but they still fast. Scientists keep discovering very cool things about fasting. It's very good for our bodies. Fasting also helps us become more peaceful, control our anger, and be very good to the people around us. It's a really good way to train ourselves how to behave throughout the whole year. But still, Muslims fast during Ramadan in order to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command. You know, not everything has to exactly make sense to us because we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-alim, the all-knowing. He knows what we don't. Fasting during Ramadan helps us become the best us we can be. We learn how to control our anger better. We learn how to appreciate the food that we have throughout the year. We learn how to be kind to one another and be considerate and thoughtful of other people. Ramadan is also a great chance for us to get in touch with our family and friends. Every little good deed during Ramadan is bigger and bigger and bigger. During Ramadan, it's like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the whole bank of good deeds and tawab wide open for us so we can go in and grab as many good deeds as we can. Each and every single one of us has to try their best in order to grab as many good deeds as we can so we can fill up our scale of hasanat so that inshallah on the day of judgment when we stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we see our scale is filled with good deeds and we go straight to Jannah. Inshallah all my friends have their lists ready of all the good deeds they're gonna gain during this Ramadan. Planning for charity, helping others in need, buying toys for those who are less fortunate, we should help our parents around the house. We should take care of our stuff. I know that even some of my friends are going to try fasting for the first time, inshallah. I'm really proud of you. And those of you who had already started fasting several years ago, we got this. Inshallah, we can do it. I hope you guys already have started decorating your homes and got everything ready for Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this a blessed month for all of us, inshallah. I really hope you've enjoyed today's story, inshallah. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Stay healthy, awesome, and with strong iman. I'll see you next time, inshallah. Ramadan Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, like my page on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. Jazakum Allah khairan for stopping by. Assalamu alaikum.